Web's mission is to deliver global connectivity services and with this launch, OneWeb will be one step closer to offering its high speed, low latency services. The satellites will be arranged in 12 rings with 49 satellites in each plane. Each satellite will complete a full trip around the Earth every 109 minutes. Namaskar everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In this video, we will know about launch vehicle Mark 3, also known as LVM3. Why is it in the news? Because recently, ISRO crossed important milestone with the successful launch of LVM3 M2, also known as OneWeb India One mission. Launch vehicle Mark 3 was previously referred to as Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark 3, also known as GSLV MK3. In October 2022, ISRO changed the name after the successful launch of LVM3 M2 mission. The rename was done to remove any ambiguity on the ability of the vehicle to put payloads in a particular orbit. Let's discuss some features of LVM3. It is a three-stage medium lift launch vehicle developed by ISRO and it has lift-off mass of 640 tons and it has higher payload capacity than GSLV Mark II. Let's look at some previous missions. It was primarily designed to launch communication satellites into geostationary orbit and it has launched various missions in the past. For example, in 2017, ISRO successfully conducted the first orbital test of GSLV Mark III and it launched the Chandrayaan-2 mission to the moon in 2019, which was the first operational flight of the rocket. LVM-3 rocket will also be used to carry Gangayan, which is the first crewed mission under India's maiden human space flight program, which is tentatively scheduled for late 2024. Let's get into detail hai, One Web India One mission, ko, which is also known as LVM-3 M2. So, dosto, it is a dedicated commercial satellite mission of New Space India Limited, which is a central public sector enterprise under Department of Space Government of India. And the mission was undertaken as a part of commercial arrangements entered between NSIL and OneWeb. As a part of this mission, 36 OneWeb Generation 1 satellites meant for global connectivity needs were launched from the second launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shri Harikota, into circular low Earth orbit. This mission is the fifth flight of LVM-3. Let's see the significance of the mission. With this launch, LVM-3 making entry into the global commercial launch service market. This was also the first launch of LVM-3 to a polar low earth orbit. The success of the flight revalidated the viability of LVM-3 rocket for the more ambitious parts of the India space program, such as manned missions, moon landings, and deep space explorations in near future. LVM-3 rocket carried almost 6 tons of payload into lower Earth orbit, which is the most that any ISRO mission has delivered into space till date. Thus, mission affirmed ISRO's claim as a serious player in the heavy satellite launch market. One more important thing, very few countries have the capability to launch satellite weighing more than 2 tons. Until recently, even ISRO used to take the service of Aryan rockets of Europe to launch its heavy satellites. LVM-3 rocket is meant to end that dependence. Let's know about OneWeb. OneWeb is a communication company that aims to build broadband satellite internet services and it is headquartered in London, UK. Indian company Bharti Global of Sunil Mittal is one of the company's largest shareholders. OneWeb satellite constellation is a planned 648 satellite internet constellation with a goal to provide global broadband internet services by end of 2023. The satellites are arranged in 12 orbital planes with 49 satellites in each plane at 1200 km circular orbit and the satellites are in a circular low earth orbit transmitting and receiving in a KU band of radio frequency spectrum. By October 2022, OneWeb had launched 464 of the planned 648 low earth orbit satellites. Let's see the question of the day. Consider the following statements relating to LVM-3. First statement is LVM-3 is a three-stage medium lift launch vehicle developed by Indian Space Research Organization. And LVM-3 M2, also known as OneWeb India One mission, was the first launch of LVM-3 to a polar low earth orbit. Which of the statements given above is are correct? Answer is, is C because both the statements are correct. Dosto, aaj ke hi. Thanks for listening. For regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.